lazy moonlight Swanee shore Headed homebound Just once more To my Mississippi Delta home Southland has got and garden spots Although you believe or not I hear those breezes whispering Come on back to me Mighty water round my feet Just got some shelter down on the delta. Muddy water in my shoes, real and rocky to them low down blues. They live in easy comfort. In there, I do declare I've been away a year today to wander and roam and I know it's muddy there but still it's my home Got my toes turned, Dixie way round the delta. Let me lay. My heart cries out for my water. So this is the lesson for Muddy Water, great uh, jazz standard. And uh, <clears throat> it's in the guitar friendly key of B flat. But don't let that scare you. Uh, I think the positions are uh, maybe not easy, but not, not um, well, too difficult. We're in standard tuning. And these are my E's. And let's play the introduction slowly. So our B flat six uh, chords is just fretted with three fingers. First fret fifth string, third fret uh, fourth string, and the second fret the D on the third fret. So, sorry, the second string on the third fret. So and and pretty much the whole thing is it's not alternating bass, but tamp tamp. So tamp tamp, two fingers, and tamp again. And that's a pattern that goes well a long way in the song. Now just move your uh, outer finger, your index and your middle finger. First fret, third string, and the second fret of the fifth string. So go from this. Like that. So first bar. Diminished seven it looks almost like a E7, but the third finger is one uh, fret further away. Then you move the whole chord, except the index. Slide down, keep your pinky on the second string, and turn prep for the F. So that second bar. Sorry. To our first bar again, same thing, and 
then slide one of the hardest parts I think that that slide and hammer on for the F while threading the first fret of the sixth string to get that F chord. So that third and fourth bar once more. All right. And then we have the part behind the vocals. So that was the same thing as the first two bars, repeated twice, and at the end of the eighth bar we have an F7, have a beat rest, and then to my Mississippi So what we're we doing there in bar nine, and then our chord, the diminished chord, but moved up, fourth fret, fifth fret, third fret, fifth fret. So, and then with the D minor seven, which I grab only like this, you could do a full bar, of course, but I fret only with my index the fifth and the third string on the fifth fret and the second finger goes to the second string sixth fret and the third string goes to the seventh fret on the fourth string so bar eight sorry bar nine let's do uh, sorry no bar nine And we have the F7 like this. First finger index on the third string, fifth fret, third finger on the sixth string, second string, sixth string, second, sorry, <laughs> second string, sixth fret, seventh fret on the fourth string, and the sixth fret on the fifth string. And <clears throat> like that at the end of bar uh, 10, and then we're resuming the part again. And we have the second verse, well, second part. Southland has got grand garden spots. Although you believe or not. So what happens here? Bar 13. Seen that before? And then an F. And I'm using my third finger to grab that second fret. Open and up to the fourth string and then in the 15th bar we arrive at the G minor 7 just barring the third fret. D7 open string and then <clears throat> our B flat 6. It resembles a bit that uh, <clears throat> that awkward uh, chord in the second part of the 10 bar, but the fingers inside are inversed. So it's 6th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret, 6th fret. I'm going to use this chord a lot in the future. So we were at uh, bar 16. Seven. So let's do that one more time from uh, bar 13. 
someone has got red and garden spots move up although you believe or not I hear those breezes whispering come on back to me alright so we were at the end of bar 16 and bar 17 C7 G minor 7 well you can use of course the, the bar chords C7 again and then you, you keep the chords Bar, uh, 18 and you go down on the 6th string but you keep your C7 there when you're fretting that 6th string 7th fret so the 18th bar and F G minor 7 again but I'm using this part like this, so I'm fretting with my third finger strings uh, 4, 3 and 2 and the uh, second finger gets the 6th string at the 3rd fret and then it's an easy transition to a, well let's say that's a B7 position A flat diminished 7 on the 4th fret, 3rd fret and then you move it up to the 5th fret and you add the pinky to the 6th fret of the 2nd string. Keep your pinky there and bar the 3rd fret and go back for an F. So that whole thing again, bar 19. Sorry. So, our chorus, so to speak, that B flat sixth, muddy water, E flat seven. I'm barring the sixth <coughs> fret, the third and the fifth string, and my third finger is on the eighth fret, fourth string, and the pinky on the eighth fret, second string. So you're barring only. The third and the fifth fret, that's easy. You add the pinky. Round my feet. Sorry, you add the second finger to the seventh fret at the end of bar 22, second page. Open, and once more. Muddy water in the street. In the street. You can let it ring or not, that's it choices you make yourself. This is C9, 8th fret, 7th fret, 8th fret, and the 8th fret, with all the fingers used. A bit awkward, may not maybe uh, conventional, probably the first time you took this chord, but it works. <coughs> so one more time, bar 21. Just God's own shelter. So we have that B <clears throat> flat six one more time, bar twenty five, D seven. Keep the D seven, but move your third finger to the sixth string, fifth fret, and then a G minor, C nine. And then we arrive at bar 27, F7, which is your D7 position moved up to the 5th fret and your index is added to the 3rd fret, 4th string. Down on Delta. So 
So what you do is and go down, you keep your, in, uh, your index on the same spot and, and get a diminished chord. Four, sorry, three, four, three, four. And move up again. Don't bother to to grab the full uh, bar here. Just fretting the fifth string with my index, and the rest is like a A minor moved up to the fifth fret. So bar 29. I move my uh, index to the fifth uh, sixth string. So. Then a normal G, part. Again that. So it's an interplay between that minor and that G. So bar 29, one more time. C7 they live in C9 and I, I <coughs> fret with my third finger the top three strings on the third fret index goes to the second fret of the fourth string and uh, <coughs> second finger goes from the sixth to the fifth string <coughs> Thirty three, thirty four, C seven, G minor seven, put you the bar two, and then a C seven, fifth fret, third fret, fifth fret, third fret. So one more time, bar thirty three. minor 7, rather awkward way maybe, but 1st fret, 3rd fret, 3rd fret, 1st 3 strings, and the 2nd finger goes to the 6th <coughs> string, 3rd fret. F, G minor, but I'm just fretting the 2 strings, 3rd and the 6th string, move it up, and at your uh, index to the third string, third fret, and your second finger to the fourth fret of the second string. So again that move, and then we have bar 37. I've been away So, bar 37, we have our B flat 6 again, 6, 7, 5, 6, and the singing starts just between the first and the second beat. I've been away, hit, and then form that triangular chord, 5th fret, 6th fret, 5th fret, and hit it and move it up, and add your temp 
to the sixth string for B flat seven. So one more time. I've been away a year today to wonder R C minor. <clears throat> and one of the reasons that I don't grab a bar, I think sliding with a bar, it's it's not easy. So it's easier if you do just slide with the fingers. It's our A minor chord moved up and you used with the other fingers, of course. Fret it. And add, add the index to the fifth string, third fret. So, I've been away. So we have our C minor at bar 40. So we slid into that row and then D7, move it down the fret, and C7. And I know it's muddy there, but still it's my home. So what happens there? Bar 41. Our C7, move it up, go down, C9 and C7. It's a bit tr tricky when it comes to rhythm. So one more time. And I know it's muddy there. And then we have, have our F7 move, which we've done before, but still go down. We have our B uh, flat six in bar 45. Got my toes turned. Dixie way. That's a, like the C9 moved up to the sixth fret, E flat nine. And I fret it again with my flattened third uh, finger, ring finger, for the first three strings. And the index goes to the fourth string and the second finger to the sixth string. And then at the last beat of measure 46, I'm adding the pinky to the seventh fret. Just play that short. Now, bar 45 and 46. Got my toes turned, Dixie way. And you see I'm picking that with the three fingers like that. Typical bossa nova thing like. <clears throat> One more time. Got my toes turned, Dixie way, round the delta, let me lay. Bar 47 again. Round the delta, B flat 6. Ba, ba, da, da. And our C9, the awkward one. Da, da. Follow the vocals there. B flat six and bar for the nine for the end run. My heart cries out for muddy water. All right, so bar for the nine we've seen before. That's the move <coughs> we did in. Um, well, again, uh, Mississippi, Delta Home, that move. That's bar 49 and 50. And that all chord F7 there. With the pinky on the 7th fret. mistake in the tap, it should be like this. Six, six, seven, and not eight, but five. 
five, six. So you have to correct that in a tap. The third string is the fifth fret. And then we have a bar B flat, seven. Move the pinky, remove the other two fingers here, and then add the <clears throat> middle and the third finger to the seventh and eighth fret, pinky, and the eighth fret, first string, move it up, 10, 10, 8, then go down, well, that's what in the tap with the temp wrap, but I did like that, and I hit the 6th fret on the 6th string and slide down, and get that B flat there, and to the chords we initially would have played. So that's it for Muddy Water, have fun!